Yes, Karen Wilson and Oliver Lyons to play match four today here in this group. Karen Wilson is such a form man in this tournament. He won all three matches in the first group phase. Of course, he's already beaten Ken Doherty. Oliver Lyons drew 2-2 with Matthew Stevens. That was a real battle, but he's by no means out of this yet, as we saw from the table. It will be, though, an important match, this. Of course, we've seen a lot of Kyron, not just in this event, but in plenty of others last few years. Peter, do you, do you know, know anything about his opponent? Yeah, I know a little bit, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just hope Oliver can relax, play the sort of snooker he does when he's in the club and do himself justice. You know, it's going to be a tough match for sure. Kyron Kyron's obviously a Champions League specialist and one of the best players in the world. Right, it's going to be Strange for you this. We maybe should have got uh, Karen's brother Taylor into the box because he's also here. But anyway, I'll do my best as he breaks off. Yeah, he played some pretty good stuff in his first match, Oliver. Foul, no miss. Kyron Wilson, four. Well, as uh, Brendan Moore potentially puts that cue ball back, this is table two, and this is the, yep. the first session continuing. Not in Sencom, 2-0 up against David Lilly, so obviously they're overrunning there. And there's 14 points in the next frame in the balance. Sencom, he got a draw in his previous match. Highest break in that for him was only 26, but he's still got a draw. So he's battled away there and looking to try and get three points on the board. Could be, though, potentially a long evening there. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Oliver, misjudging the slide of the cushions there twice. Played to nestle into the side of the pack, and luckily for him, second time round, he's hit the red and left it safe. When he said to you, Peter, you know, that he wanted to pursue a career in snooker, how, how did that make you feel? Because you know how hard it is. Were you happy about that or were you a little bit apprehensive? Yeah, I mean, I was happy about it because, you know, snooker's a game I love. Snooker's a game I've loved since I was 14 years old when I first started playing. Oliver was a little bit younger than me when he first started playing, but... I think it was more he started playing because he knew how much I loved it and it was a chance for us to basically spend more time together you know when he was growing up so yeah absolutely I you know I loved it you know I know snooker's got his critics but snooker is a great game you know and we, I think we both feel very pri privileged to be professional snooker players you know hopefully he can go on and you know emulate some of the players like Kyron Wilson I know he does admire what Kyron does he works very hard as Oliver, so fingers crossed he can get himself up there himself. In the meantime, Karen Wilson's had a little bit of physiotherapy actually here at the morning side. He had a little pain in his back and, uh, well, it seems to be feeling much better actually for it. Oh, don't say that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, the, the, the staff here at this venue have been just brilliant. We've been here now nearly four weeks and uh, can't do enough for you, whether it's food or, uh, in Karen's case, physiotherapy. Yeah, the whole tournament has been a success for me. You know, it's uh, it's a great addition to the calendar. You know, obviously it's... It's now become a ranking event, which is great for all the players. Well, that was a chance for Wilson. Let's see if Oliver can get going here. He started One. really well against Matthew Stevens. I thought he came out first frame looking great, really took the game to Stevens, was very confident. 
And he lost a second frame, he could have won the third. It seemed to go on forever. He did win it, but in the end, Matthew Stevens salvaged the draw. <coughs> Three. Four. Yeah, like most of the younger players, Oliver, he relies on confidence. You know, he's a, he's a good cueist and he is very dedicated, but he relies on confidence, you know, and like you say, the first frame he looked great, missed a couple of shots in the second frame and it, and you could just see it, it rocked his confidence a little bit, you know, and, and then obviously with it being such a short format, you're under pressure, you, you know, you really needed the win, knowing Cameron had already won a game, but at least he knows, I spoke to him, and he said, you know, if I win my next two games, I'm through. If I don't, I'll probably be out. So he knows where he stands. He's got to go out there and just try and give it his best shot. Seven. Yeah, I'm not sure if he thought he was going to just kiss that red on the way past to slow the cue ball up a little bit. But Looks like it's possibly break over unless this red passes the green. Thanks. All over lines. So. They have played three times before. Karen Wilson's been victorious on all three occasions. Something about this event just seems to appeal to him. Yeah, it would be a phenomenal achievement in this format if somebody could win it three years in a row. We well, have to play so many matches. I mean, obviously, there's three groups, so that's nine matches plus a final. He beat Judd Trump last year in the final. It's a lot of snooker and the, the invitation event. Play more matches because there's a succession of groups there. Yeah, people say, you know, there's a lot of luck involved in snooker, but I think Karen's dispelling that rumour with his victories in this. It can't be it can't be just pure luck. Not even Ken Doherty is that lucky. <laughs> we'll see Ken who goes next. Just while this safety plays on, uh, David, could I just possibly take the chance, uh, this opportunity to wish my wife a happy wedding anniversary? <laughs> Seeing as I'm uh, celebrating it by watching Oliver play snooker and commentating it, but I'm sure she's at home watching as well. I think that's a very good idea, Peter, to be honest, <laughs> to do that. As we drop in on table two, and this is uh, frame three coming to an end, and it looks like we're going to have a frame four because, well, we will, because David frame. Lilly's. 32 in front, so that's going to be 2 1. Remember, that is still the first session. 2 1 to Nathan Senkarm. Yeah, no lunch break for those boys. Just overrun it slightly. Chance at this long red. Can he get himself around the back of the black? thinner than he wanted to, which meant he lost control of the cue ball a little bit. Left himself a tough shot. Taking the positive one, the pink.
Thank you. Oliver Lines one. Yeah, no chance for Kyra. Red's in the open now as well, so if he can knock this in, he'll be on the black. Well, couldn't have been any closer. group is still wide open we've got of course Karen Wilson and Ken Doherty on three points Oliver Lines Matthew Stevens one so you just feel every frame now is going to play some significance in terms of who finishes where yeah and I think this black is a crucial shot in the frame already Oliver's left himself a little bit closer to the cushion than he would have liked I think again I thought he was just going to brush that red to hold the cue ball further out but this is a must get Nicely cued, kept everything as still as he possibly could. Just trusted that he'd line it up right. Eight. <coughs> yeah, Ken in the first match against Cowan, he was getting himself in these positions like Oliver's got himself in here, but just didn't turn, only Nine. turned one of them into a frame winning victory. In a match he probably should have at least drawn, if not won. Sixteen. Seventeen. Yeah, the biggest thing I notice about Oliver when I watch him play in matches is he seems to get a little bit slower than he certainly does in practice. You know, he's very fluent in practice, just gets on with it, he sees the shot straight away. He's playing here and you can see him as is if he doesn't want to make mistakes. 24. You know, and trying not to make mistakes is often when you make mistakes like that, it does appear like he's run a little bit too far on what should have been a routine shot. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Trying not to make a mistake. He's made a elementary one and now he's he looks like he's trying to convince himself that he can still pot it. Maybe he can. He looks very tight. Twenty-five. And then in concentrating on the pot there, he's come a little bit low on the black. Now can he miss this first red in potting this black? Has he missed the black? Oliver Lines, 25. And there you go, that's exactly what I was talking about. And concentrating on Cannon in the outside red there for position, he's, he's not lined the black up right. And he's just gifted the chance straight back to Kyron. Yeah, chance to open reds up here with the black over the pocket. One. Looks like black's covered though by that red. One. I won't say let's hope so. <laughs> but it doesn't look a difficult swerve. I'm surprised he's not actually looking at the black. Must fancy controlling this pink easier. Yeah, 
that is a that's a real let off for Oliver. Someone. Yeah, I'm surprised Karen didn't have a look at the black there. Well, that's the thing. He really didn't look at it. He just decided he couldn't pot it. He didn't sort of try and work out a way of potting it. Yeah, I've got a feeling now that this first frame is going to be massive for Oliver's chances. Already had a couple of opportunities. And he knows that himself. You know, Oliver, what's the next ball? He'll probably be a huge favourite for the frame. Black hanging over the pocket, already 28 in front. And either that has drifted off slightly. Oh, that's a huge misjudgment from Kyron, but no damage done. There's no doubt, though, that the tension is added to by the, the shortness of the match. If this was the World Championship or even a best of nine event, it wouldn't be quite so cagey, I don't think. But, you know, it's it's a four-frame match. It's also important in the group. It's the, the middle match for both of their group. So you can sort of feel that in the air. You can feel the tension. Big prize to get through to Friday. I'm glad you said that, David, because I didn't know if it was just me that was suffering from the tension. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a given. <laughs> Yeah, I just get the impression that Oliver's just trying too hard, you know, to prove out there that he can play and that he is a good player. Rather than letting his natural game and instincts just come through. Big shot this. Normally very good at these, Kyron. One. Yeah, that's a that's a good pot. I'm One. sure Kyron will have sensed Oliver's edginess yeah that was a clever shot from Kyron knew with the red hanging over the middle he could take Eight. a chance and try and develop some of the awkward reds knowing he's trailing by 20 odd points Be careful here, he doesn't pot this and land on nothing with the red hanging over the middle. Nine. Yeah, and I think we'll probably see him leave that red over the middle and maybe take another chance to get that red off, knowing it's a free shot. Seventeen. Yeah. Twenty four. 
Yeah, there you can see Karen just sizing himself up for it. He's looking to leave the white my ball somewhere across upstairs. from the black. Left it upstairs. Oh, Brendan's left his ball marker upstairs. That's not like it. him. I'll get them to run and fetch it for me. Someone's going to leg it upstairs to get it. <laughs> now, you, you can't dock the referee, Ephraim. You can't do that, but uh, there's going to be a slight delay. Can we dock him some Once wages? Down there. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you can go without a meal or something. That's a first. So he's not be able to clean the cue ball at the moment. Let's hope there's not a kick or anything here. Yeah, let's. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 20 that looks just about perfect. Good thinking from Kyron. Yeah, he's got a free shot to get this red off now. The only way this can go wrong, really, is if he double kisses it and it doesn't come away from the cushion. Thirty-two. Yeah, it looks like it's going to cost Oliver that easy black that he missed. Yeah, the thing is, Karen Wilson made a few errors early on as well, but Oliver unable to capitalise, and now Wilson really has them where he wants them. This is the only real stumbling block. He's slightly awkward, but I don't fancy him to miss it. The other two reds hanging over the pocket and all the ball colours in the open. Wilson starting the season six in the world. He's become such a regular at the business end of tournaments. And uh, his status has been rewarded. Tomorrow he's appearing on, or he's filming an episode of Question of Sport, which for those of you who don't live in the UK is a very well-known, long-running sports quiz show on British television. Just reflecting his status now. Because he's been invited onto that. 36. Thirty-seven. Yeah, this looks almost certainly so going to be the first frame for Kyron. Forty-four. Forty-eight. Twenty in front, so just the yellow and green for the frame. 50. Yeah, 53. I'd say whoever pots the next ball is a huge favourite for the frame and that's how it's proved. So good at making mistakes though is Karen and just putting them out of his mind, getting on with the job in hand when the next chance comes. Yep. 62. Yeah, a typically very solid effort that from Karen Wilson. Karen Wilson. 62. 62. It was a and nervy play. start. But uh, he held himself together nicely for that contribution. So Karen Wilson, the defending oh, champion, has taken the first frame. I he bet. leads Oliver Lyons 1-0. <laughs>
So a good start for Karen Wilson. He made uh, Second the end. Frame. Oliver Lyons used for 62 there in the first frame. This uh, Championship League first became a ranking event last year. The only player who's ever beaten Karen Wilson in the Championship League as a ranking event was John Higgins in one match last year. All the other matches he's won with the exception of a draw with Scott Donaldson. So for whatever reason in this format, very short matches, he just seems to come good time and time again. He also won the invitation event, which is a, a different format, seven man groups, but still best of five matches, very short. Close, but I think he's going to leave it. Probably just play down for the red, just above the black now. Leave himself an angle and straight into the reds. Six. Yeah, just looking to get nice contact on the red, second red from the black. Yeah, stunned the white out. Foul. Yeah, very unlucky, although he'd lost the cue ball seven. slightly anyway. Oliver Lyons, seven. So may not be a disaster, just didn't quite stun the meat of the pack, so that's why the whites run down into bulk. Yeah, tough choice for Oliver now. Does he go for a pot or does he risk? Putting Kyron Wilson back in. I think if he can see the red closest to the right hand corner, he's probably best going for it himself because Kyron won't refuse it. Again, close, but not close enough. But this time, not much damage done for Oliver. That's right, at least he's got the white back up the table again. Yeah, he was close uh, both times to the attempted reds. Now, can Karen get through to the one closest to the left-hand corner? It's a tough shot, but I'm almost certain he'll have a go at it if he can. Now, what's he playing here? Is he trying to screw back to Balk? Wow, that was close as well. Fantastic control, though, from Kyron Wilson. Terrific shot. A 
Oliver in a lot of trouble here. Can't really dump the white onto this black cushion either, I don't think. We'll almost certainly leave a pot of some description. Maybe forced into trying to pot his way out of trouble, which isn't easy from where the cue ball is. He's got any choice here, I think he's going to have to pop one. Or fluke one. Trouble there, I'm afraid, Oliver. I think this red does cut back. Well, Karen, I think, is looking at one into the middle. Well, these can't get much closer, but they're not going in. <laughs> well, it's an inviting table for whoever gets in first. And a spot of bother for Kyron this time. The way the reds are positioned. Even though he may try and leave the white in this draws of this corner pocket, he will leave some sort of shot at something. He's going to try and put his way out of trouble. No, he can't see enough of it. Oh, surely not. Well, I genuinely thought Oliver was a bit unlucky with some of the running in the previous match in Matthew Stevens. And in short matches, it does make a difference. He made the odd error as well, I know, but, you know, these little nudges and just where the cue ball lands, what lands next to it, all that sort of thing can make a difference, not only to the frame, but also to the way the players are thinking as well, in their own state of mind. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, David. You know, it's such a minefield out there. Oliver should have had a, an absolute sitter, and instead he's left Car and a sitter. Sorry, Queen's White. Yeah, it's going to be hard from here to, to really get a good safety He's gone for the red. Now, he, I'm sure he fears the worst here. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's had a few goes at getting in. Could have had an easier one than that, though, after Wilson's previous shot. So, Karen Wilson, who made 62 in frame one, with another chance here in frame two. 
point. Yeah, nothing to do with the cue ball. Just screw down the table. Plenty of reds to go at. Yeah, we know what a heavy scorer he is. He made 74 centuries last season. That's second only to Judd Trump, who made 90. Well, well that's probably his worst shot of the day. Yeah, Four. that was uh, out of nowhere. Such a huge margin of, of error did Kyron Wilson there. It was almost impossible to finish on nothing. Well, this is where attitude comes into it because he'll be livid with himself, but he's now looking to play, uh, well, a sort of pot safety here. Kyron Wilson four. So, you know, he, he coped with that well. He had every right to be annoyed with himself, but he just took a deep breath. Still livid, though. I think Oliver can see the red closest to the white, just to the right of the pink, but he's got to be very careful. He gets a good white ball from this with two reds close to the right-hand corner pocket. I'll go side cushion, uh, black cushion, side cushion, so try and get somewhere on the ball cushion behind the green if he can. That's his only hope of getting it safe. Needs to miss the brown. Yeah, it's just flicked the brown and I think he's left the one to the left of the two near the corner. Again, on another day there, he gets a nice kiss on the brown and it lands right in behind the green. Not today. And there you can see Kyle Wilson can get through to this red. One. And that's not too bad. Just a straightforward. Pink or blue into the corner. Straight down. Karen's cue action there with the camera. Yeah, those 74 centuries last season, 23 of them were made in the invitation version of this. And that's a new record for any t single tournament. Seven. You pipped uh, Neil Robertson's old record. And he was very determined to do Eight. it. We kept mentioning it to him, which maybe didn't help. But uh, every time we saw him, we said, oh, yeah, I only need another five, another four, etc." And he went into the last night needing to make four, and he made them. Not only won the tournament, but he, he was absolutely determined to set that record. Yeah, he's a very 30. determined character, is Kyron. And I think he'd be the first to admit it was an aspect of his game that needed improving if he wanted to start threatening the big tournaments. Okay. And he certainly addressed it. And this looks almost certain to be 2-0. 21. Yeah, Oliver just got to sit in his seat and try and stay focused just in case Karen does miss. 29. Worrying so times. Sorry, Peter. Sure. I was say worrying times because, of course, he drew his first match, so if he loses this frame, 30. obviously the best he can then do is a draw and chances of winning the group very unlikely in that scenario yeah still got to try and stay focused though you know still a lot of money to play for and you know if he could come back and force a draw it still at least it forced Kyron's hand for his last game 
you know, so he's got to keep keep trying, keep focused. You know, if anything, just to try and relax and play the sort of snooker he knows he's capable of. Because once he masters that, Oliver, I think he'll be OK. Thirty-eight. I'm sure Oliver's disappointed with how the first frame went not so much this one he hasn't really done anything wrong in this frame he just hasn't had 44 any chances but he knows he should have won the first frame and in such a short format you lose a frame you should have won you you're up against it and even more so against the defending champion 45 he's gonna need another red after this and it should be 2-0 to Karen Wilson Top in any any tournament, but for some reason the Championship League just seems very difficult to beat. Fifty-one. Uh, it is on screen for you. So this red and Oliver Lines will require snookers. Fifty-two. Fifty-nine. This is the level that Oliver's hoping to get to, so, you know, he's just got to take it on the chin like any player. So the black stays out, but uh, a solid 59 to Karen follow. Wilson. 62. And the frame. Carl Wilson, he guaranteed a point and needs one more frame to take all three. He's, he's live on match Third room frame. live. Kyron Wilson to break. And we're live back here on table one with Kyron Wilson looking to win yet another match here. Won all three in the first phase and needs one more frame to look good to potentially put himself into Friday's final group. Now, this time he hasn't covered it, so this is an immediate opening for Oliver Lines. Seems like it's been a feature of this tournament, you know. Poor break-offs. One. People bringing the red down the table or struggling to get the white down in bulk. Heels is still my favourite break off though. <laughs> yeah, he tried the Mark Eight. Williams off the top cushion into the back of the reds and hit the black. Nice. Nine. Pack of reds. Six things. Open a few up. Important this. Get himself back on the black. I'll be careful he doesn't miss the red. Trying to generate. He's played that pretty well. Seven. Would like to have been just a little bit further away from the cushion, but one good pot on this black. And he could be in business. Yeah, struck it nicely. Lovely shot. Yeah, it's very encouraging the way he played that. So what a chance 24. this is where the bulls are. Nine. 
25. I hate to tempt fate, but imagine, Peter, if you commentated on your son making a maximum. <laughs> well, I've, I've refereed a few for him whilst I've been playing him, so it would be nice. Well, first things first, just try and win the frame, and then, as you say, you can still get a draw from this match. Unless the red goes into the middle, though, the maximum's over. 32. Yeah, I'm going to take the slightly more difficult one. But again, struck 33. it well. Nicely cued. Yeah, they underscrewed last time and just overcompensated 40. this time by overscrewing slightly. Careful here. Yeah, played it well. 41. Sixth black coming up. His highest break in a tournament is 139. Yeah, he's still sick about that because I made 141 in the same comp. <laughs> <laughs> 48. That'll show him. Correct. Show him who's boss. Yeah, there's not many professional snooker players out 49. there, though, that are not even the highest ranked at home. <laughs> like I am, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, nice shot. Played it well. Well, I'm getting excited now. If he can just get a couple more reds and blacks and get the frame one, then he can relax and go for the big break. Fifty seven. Yeah, just over screwed it slightly, but should be okay. Just stunned past the pink. I think both of those reds pop. Just don't take your eye off the black here, that's the key. The position will take care of itself. Yeah, there you go, no problem. Now I may take them one into the middle and just stun through the gap. 60 foot. Just got to be careful, he stays away from the side cushion. Sixty-five. Oh, just a little bit, a little bit off straight. The wrong side here now needs a really good shot, and also the frame's not won yet. Needs to cue this one well. I oh, struck it like a dream. Fantastic shot. So just this red, and then we can seventy-two concentrate on the maximum attempt. I don't know how you're so calm. <laughs> Peter, watching this. Let's hope he stays calm. Uh, just didn't get the blacking cleanly. Now, can he drop this Eight. red in the centre? What a shame. Just caught the black a fraction too thick. Oh, sickness. Overline. What a shame. 80. What and a shame. No maximum, but 
He's won the frame and he won it well. He'd have loved the 147. We'd all like to have seen that, not least his dad. But he's pulled one back. So Karen Wilson now leads by two frames to one with one frame to go. Welcome back to the Morning Side Arena here in Leicester, home, of course, of the Final Championship frame. League. And it's 2-1 here frame. to Karen Wilson against Oliver Lines, who, uh, well, was going valiantly there. Ten reds, ten blacks. Just missed that tricky red to the right middle. But did enough to win the frame in that 80. So it's 2-1, as I say, to Wilson. He needs one frame for victory. Oliver here needs a frame to get the draw. Now, they have started the evening session, albeit nearly an hour late, on table two. It's Mark Davis, whose birthday it is tomorrow, actually, against Bei Lang Ning of China. And that's what's happening in frame one. Bei Lang Ning trailing, but at the table with what looks like a good chance. He uh, drew his first match with Nopin Senkarm. Davis was beaten by David Lilly. So they're both looking to get something out of that match. Let's see if it uh, speeds up this evening on table two. Yeah, no, I'm slightly biased, but it was good to see Oliver produce some of the snooker that he can do in that last frame. Let's see if he can follow it up with another break here. He's got to try and control this. Stay outside bulk. Yeah, and he's not out of this group One. yet. If he wins this frame, he'll be on two points. If he then beat Ken Doherty, he'll be on five. And although it'd be unlikely to win the group on five, it's not impossible. It would need a certain set of results to go his way. Yeah, funnily enough, me and Oliver were discussing this the other day, and I said, I think it's impossible for someone to win a group four. on four, and then Andy Hicks almost proved me wrong on the same day. Well, actually, you could win a group with just three. If every match was drawn, five. everyone would be on three points and it would go to the high break. Now, it's very unlikely, but who knows? One day we may see that. Now, does the red go at the bottom of the pack? Otherwise, it's going to have to be playing one of the two loose ones. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, that's a poor shot from Oliver. Twelve. Uh, I don't think he needs me to tell him that. He has a good chance to get a few points on the board and keep his momentum going and... He's just let that one slip away. He had a big margin for error. But he's got to put that out of his head. Play a good safety shot. Doesn't want to just give the initiative straight back to Kyram. So he's got to make sure he gets a good white on the bolt cushion behind that yellow. If he can. Is he just dropping on the black cushion? Yeah. Not taking any chances. Although well, the line's 12. He sort of handed the, the initiative away. He find himself behind the yellow. I think that shot was determined by the style of play and the, the way Kyron Wilson goes about his business. I think he thought, if I don't get it tight on the black cushion, he's definitely going to have a, a pop at that long red, and often he knocks him in. But now he's finding himself in in worse trouble than he would have done. For me, it'd have been better playing that shot himself. Because now he's having to play off the side of the pack and possibly open all the reds up. He's got to get this one right. He needs that white to go. Not his best shot, but no damage done. But Kyron still with the upper hand, getting his hand on the table for a safety.
got to be very careful here, doesn't push. Over the corner. Garman's coming to have a look to see if he can have a go at this long red. Get through the gap behind the black and back down the table as a, a shot to nothing. Yeah, it looks it looks good. Yeah, just a fraction too thick, luckily for Oliver's sake, because it wasn't a good safety. Well, I've worked out how Oliver can still win this group, and it's as we see the replay, it's the following. He wins this frame, he's then got to beat Ken, and then it's Matthew Stevens to beat Kyron. And in that scenario, Oliver would be on five points, and the other three would all be on four. So a lot's got to happen there, I know, but it's not impossible, is what I'm saying. This frame is massive, actually. Yeah, it sounds like a lot as well, but it it's not that much, really. It's all about this frame. Yeah, and two of those, there's three things got to happen. Two of them are in his hands. One is this frame, and the next is the next match he's playing. Then he would need the last match to go his way. So, anyway, focus first on this frame before you can think about all of that. The next chance in this frame then could be crucial. Another superb length on the safety from Kyron. It's a tough game out there when you know every shot could be your last. I didn't teach him that one, by the way. Karen's in a spot of bother here, is he? Is he trying to catch it way for thin or just drop the white onto the black cushion? Now Oliver's got a decision to make. Does he play safe or does he have a go at that red in the middle pocket? It's a good shot. Opted for the safety knowing he's got he's got the upper hand back at the moment. This is a very tough shot if he's trying to catch this wafer thin and go back down the table. Yeah, that's magnificent. 
That's as good a shot as we've seen today, for sure. Yeah, not if I can't play the shot that Kyron played before and just dump the white onto the black cushion because the red that's near the black spot will definitely pop from anywhere at the bottom end of this table. <coughs> so I think he's going to have to try and catch this red as thin as he possibly can. Is he going thicker and through that gap? It's, this is dangerous. Well, that's a terrific shot as well. Two superb safety shots. I did teach him that one. Some terrific stuff being played here. This is Steve Davis esque. I mean, look at the pace of that one. Thanks. And yeah, the safety stats, very good. Come on, lad, stop it. Well, you won't see far better shots on the trot than that. Nearly 10 minutes since the last pot, but it's high quality safety battle here. And the overall match time just coming up to an hour. Covered it though, so oh, has he? It's obviously tight. Yeah, I think he has. Don't think he can quite hit enough of that to pot it. The only trouble is though, can he afford to leave it there? Give you a bit of playing safe and trying to check the white down towards the yellow bolt pocket again and hope he gets the cover. Also, the pink and black being a little bit awkward. May take a chance that Kyron won't get on a colour if he does pot it. I don't think I'll be taking this one, but unless he thinks he can maybe knock the red away from the pocket with one of the other two. Now has he found the yellow? I don't think so. Positional shot. Will we try and stun round the back of the Reds or check side and try and miss all the pack?
one. Well, he won't be disappointed with that one, Kyron. That is absolutely plumb. So, after the epic safety duel, Kyron Wilson with a good chance here. He's played uh, 14 matches before in the ranking event version of the Championship League. He's won 12 of them and drawn one. So he's only ever lost once. He's only ever drawn once in this format. Seven. When he's carried ranking points. And if he can win this frame, he becomes a big favourite again to win the group. Eight. Well, it's in his hands. The black's going back on its spot. There's a good five, six, seven reds in the open. I feel as though it's either going to have to be a kick or a, a surprising miss. Fifteen. It shows how this game's a game of fractions. Oliver couldn't quite see past the blue to pot that red near the pocket. 16. And then from his resulting safety shot, just sneaked past the yellow so he could pot it. And now it looks like game over. Try and stay focused though, Oliver, just in case. 20 does make an error. Twenty-four. Well he's not won yet, but if he does win the match then he could end up going into the last match. Already the group winner. Next up is Oliver against Ken Doherty. Ken's on three points, Oliver would be on one, so if that 31. was a draw, or indeed if Oliver won, they couldn't go past Kyron. Of course, Matthew 32. Stevens is on three points. So he would have to win, but even then, I think on the frame difference... Sorry, Matthew's on one point, yeah, so even a victory for him, it wouldn't make any difference. But anyway, Kyron Wilson's just interested in wrapping this up and then seeing what happens later. This is where he's reliable, I think. Once he gets the chance, so often he'll put something together, substantial. 40. Yeah, he's queuing so solid, under pressure. The routine he goes through doesn't really allow for carelessness. 47. Forty-eight. Yeah, I do feel like he's been a little bit unlucky in this match, Oliver. However, it's all part of the game. You know, we are, everyone gets a little bit of luck here and there, and you know, really, you could just trace it back to that black he missed in the first frame. If he'd have won that, he could have quite easily won this match. They're the fine margins at the top of snooker. He had a black as well, didn't he, in the second frame against Matthew Stevens, which also went astray and had an impact on that result. Fifty-six. I think all these three players though knew that Karen was going to be the person to beat if they wanted to win this group and progress to the final and it hasn't come as a shock to him that he's producing the goods. 50. So a couple more reds should do it 63. for Karen Wilson. It'll be another three points and he'll be looking really good to win this group. Sixty-four. 
64. Ken Doherty can stop him. He would have to beat Oliver Lyons next. Ken has won 3 0, of course, in an earlier match against Matthew Stevens, but it may make a difference. But even then, Karen's got another match to play against Stevens. So this is the red that should secure him another three points. Seventy-two. Yeah, also he'll be looking to try and make a century if he can, knowing that Ken made a ninety-five earlier. So if it does come down to the break, I don't think I don't know if it can do, but yeah. Also, these top players just yes, love making yeah. centuries. Seventy-nine. As this proves, not many people get the white ball cleaned on seventy-nine. Yeah, he's, he's just developed into a, a terrific all-round player in all departments. He's uh, really strong in his self-belief and the hard work he puts in as well. That's all part of it. 80. Yeah, it's been a pretty good match on the whole. 87. Some good scoring. Some brilliant safety. And Kyron's off our Christmas card list. <laughs> well, um, he played well. He played solidly. Oliver Lyons, that missed black was significant. Other than that, he played pretty good safety, but it was Kyron Wilson who gets the win. He's made breaks of 62, 59, and 87. Of course, Oliver threatened the maximum in frame three, broke down on 80. But it's Kyron Wilson who wins... 3-1.